Hey y'all, welcome back. This is going to be your mini financial reading for the sign of Gemini. So if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, these messages may or may not resonate. Please take what apply and leave the rest. Anything you need to know about me will be down below in the description box. Shout out to my new subscribers. Welcome the ones that have been here. Hey y'all, so let's tap in. I've been getting some intuitive messages for some of the signs. Either they'll come before the reading or during the reading, but let's just see. Because I don't have nothing. I'm not picking up on nothing right now. Let me sit up some though. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Gemini for their finances? Oh, so we have the Nine of Cups. Oh, some money you wish for is coming in. You made a, oh, we have the eight of pentacles, a job, some sort of job you've been wishing for. Uh-oh, but well, we have the three of swords here. Oh, shit. Wait. Let's see. What happened? Oh, no. Oh, wait, we have the six of wands here. And we have the judgment in this. Okay, let's just let's just get into this. So we have the Nine of Cups, right? Clarified by the Temperance card. Something you wish for came came true, right? I feel like you got balance. You had peace of mind. You know, you was at peace or whatever, whatever it was that you wished for. This could have been a job or just some type of work that you were doing. I feel like. Um, this could have been something you was very committed to. You was very committed to this. But I feel like with the three of swords here, something happened. Something something happened. Either you, you experienced some sort of breakup. Or you was healing from something. You was healing from a breakup. I also feel like. You was using some sort of creative tactic to help you heal from some sort of heartbreak. All in the process of getting what you want. Because we have the victory card here. We have a six of wands. And we also have the judgment. Somebody is under judgment that was trying to keep you stuck and trapped in a situation with the eight of swords. And we have the five of cups. And now this person is in deep regret. What else, spirit? So I feel like someone was getting everything they wished for, and it was also healing from a situation that they had just recently went through with someone. Could have been a breakup. But overall, you know, it was a victory for them. Yeah, you could have been dealing with a king of swords, or this is your energy. Yeah, now you feel rejected. This king of swords feel rejected with the four cups at the bottom of the deck. Or you could be rejecting somebody. All right, what's the King of Swords? What's the King of Swords, Spirit? Okay, so I feel like intuitively someone was getting rejected. Yeah, someone was getting rejected because someone else went through a rebirth or something shifted. Somebody else was getting something. They, somebody else was getting what they wanted, what they asked for, the work, whatever, the money, all that shit. They also healed themselves from a, a, a recent breakup or a heartbreak. But I feel like this King of Swords is now in this Ten of Wands energy. Like somebody is really dealing with some heavy shit here. And they could also be going through a rebirth themselves with the Death card here. If it ain't the other person. What else? What's this King of Swords in this... Ten of Wands. Why is this King of Swords in the Ten of Wands energy? Yeah, they're in regret. They're in regret. Maybe you could have lost this person. Maybe you could have lost money. Yeah, we have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person. You lost... Oh, man. You lost a wealthy person that you were dealing with. It could have been a Virgo. This could have been someone that you wanted to spend the rest of your life with, with the Four of Wands. Or you wanted to marry. Or you wanted to have some sort of um, 
like, I want to say brand new opportunity with, brand new financial opportunity, or you could have wanted to buy a house with this person, or that's probably why you're in deep regret, because this person actually became wealthy and brought a banging ass house. <sighs> Excuse me. Even though it came in slow, with the, pink, with the Prince of Pentacles, something came in slow. Yeah, a situation that a situation that was slow kind of sped up and now someone was buying a new home and you're in regret because you're having a hard time dealing with some shit or dealing with that situation. Yeah, we have the Prince of Cups in the sun. I feel like somebody else is pouring into that other person's cup. Or they're pouring into somebody else's cup. They're investing in someone. Yep, there you go. They're investing in someone else with the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They're going to be spending their life with someone else. They're going to be spending all this money, this wealth, having this new home with, with a new person. All right, what else, Spirit? What else messages do you have for the sign of Gemini for their finances? Too many cards. What else messages do you have for the sign of Gemini? Yeah, contemplation. Yeah, you're in your head a lot. I feel like you've been you've been going over your thoughts. You've been thinking about what happened. You've been thinking about all the things that you did or they did, or this is them thinking about this. Somebody is really in regret about something. I feel like you really could have hurt this person, like in the worst way you can possibly ever hurt a person. And I feel like that's what you're thinking about, because either you have a lot of passion for that person, or someone has a lot of passion for somebody else. Any more spirit? Any more messages you have for the sign of Gemini's um, finances? Maybe I'll just do love because this all this stuff is coming out. Yeah, somebody, somebody was. Oh my god, I don't even gonna say that. All these signs I've been doing are connected. Like Leo, Virgo, Gemini. I mean Leo, Virgo, and Libra. And now some of the same cards are coming out. We have stillness. You could be dealing with a Libra. And we have awakening. Yep, could be dealing with a Libra. And we have journey. Yep. So somebody was awakened, and they was they were put on a spiritual journey, where they kind of was like observing everything around them while they were in stillness. They wasn't really saying much. It was quiet. It was kind of like um, being very peaceful around a certain person or a situation. I also feel like somebody knew something about this situation happening. Maybe the other person that's now investing in someone else. They knew. All right. So what else messages do you have for the sign of Gemini finances? Too many. Okay. Yeah, we have dropped the things that offend you. Your soul embrace your truth and your life. I mean, it's your life. Let no one else live it for you. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, I feel like you could be dropping the burden of someone else. Someone else's issues. Someone else's problems. Oh, this person did this to you. I feel like this person no longer wanted to, like, go through this battle of having to do everything for you anymore. So they kind of dropped that. They 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 threw in a towel and started living for themselves. Yeah, we have pilgrimage. It says you are on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find a way. Only you can choose the path. Yeah. Somebody else was pretty much looking for something else anyway. Or they could have been longing for another person, new love. And I feel like they got that person. They found that new love. And that's what they're now investing in. Whether it's financially, spiritually, materially. Yeah, confidence and rebirth. Look at that. All the same cards are coming out. Yeah, because of a cycle. Because of a cycle that was in, that ended, maybe. Somebody stood in there. Somebody was standing in their power. They was... They had, they were standing, like, keeping their confidence within them and the situation. And it was also going through a rebirth, like I was saying before. Oh, these cards. I hope I'm not getting all choked up with my words, because it just seemed like I do that sometime out of nowhere. But y'all, you know, y'all understand. Y'all be understanding me. 
What else messages do you have for the sign of Gemini? Damn. Okay, thank you. So we have share your thoughts. I feel like that person, you want you might want to share your thoughts with this person now. Or this person could have been sharing their thoughts with the other person they're investing in. I feel like they, they was being very patient. It says be patient. I feel like, um, no, not I feel like, but we have, you were born to create. Yeah, this person might have been a creator. Yep, it says with love and kindness. Yeah, because they, they kind of... They kind of played their role in a, a sort of a connection with love and kindness. They were always loving. They were always kind, nice, generous, pure-hearted, genuine. Yeah. And then it says, seek the lesson. Yep. I feel like this person finally learned their lesson around with dealing with this type of person or just this type of situation, period. But that's all I have for you guys. Wait, did I? Yeah. That's all I have for you guys. I will be back. Stay tuned, y'all, and I am out.